create is Gina and I want to come in and talk to you guys about what should be in your window brand. Pretty much the five major things. First things first, I need you to like this video, watch all the way to the end. Make sure you're checking out my Break Hair for Cash course in the description below. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need in your burger bag, of course, is you're going to need combs. The thing about combs that you want to be very careful about is I would prefer for you to use the combs at your client's home or that client's brand or that clients are okay with. However, I understand that sometimes we're in an emergency and you have to use your own, so make sure you have your combs and make sure you have a variety of combs. I would use this one in order to comb out. I would use this one um, to part and I would use this one for, to part as well. Okay? The second thing you need to have in your burger bag, honey, baby. Set, okay? Oh, you guys, I have another braid here for, not braid here, I have another, um, what's in my braider bag, but it's a long, it's gonna be a longer version. This is my quick, down and dirty, nasty version. Okay, quick and quick and simple. Um, the second thing you need to have is your grease, okay? Again, I would prefer for you to use products that your clients prefer, but if, in case of emergency, you should have always a spare, um, uh, grease with you. The third thing, the third thing you're gonna need to have you guys is a some scissors. Now, scissors are not always essential, but you want to have a pair of scissors just pair of scissors just in case, only because some people are not gonna use actual fake braiding hair. They're gonna use their own hair, so you might not need the scissors. However, you should always have a spare with you in your braider bag. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need a must, must, must is you need either scrunchies or you need the elastic so that you can tie people's hair up and separate. Okay, um, you're gonna also need rubber bands for some people. Uh, some people are still braiding and having uh, the rubber bands put at the end of their hair. A lot of guys do that, so you want to always have some extra rubber bands. Okay, you want to also have um, a couple of bobby pins with you, and you also want to have some edge control, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. So that is the down and dirty of what you need to always have in your braider bag, okay? However, there are a couple of honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is going to be jam, okay? So I'm going to put the picture over here, right? Jam. You need to be getting you some jam only because before there was all this edge control and slay all day, there was jam, okay? Jam costs you about 4 or $5. Go ahead and get you some jam. The second thing that you want to go ahead and get that's an honorable mention is ducktail clips. When you're parting people's hair and you don't want to always um, use a scrunchie or an elastic, you definitely want to have the ducktail clips to spread the hair apart. And the last honorable mention is going to be you want to have some type of gel. A lot of gel um, can be used again for like um, e like eco style so you can do the big box braid. So again, you guys, this is my down and dirty version of what's in my braider bag. Again, I have an, another what's in my braider bag video. It's a little bit longer. We're going to keep this a little bit simple. So I need you to one, like this video, two, hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Okay? Stop playing with me. I'm not for play play. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.